break, right? Excuse me, fellas. Hey, you want to move aside here? He's deaf. Hey, reader. Move. Move. Sorry. May Dillon? Never heard of her. Look, pal, we've been bouncing all over Queens most of the morning. A guy where she works said she usually has lunch here. Now, am I going to have to rouse everybody in this place to find her? Table by the window. Mrs. Dillon, I'm Detective Jeffries. This is my partner, Detective O'Toole. May we sit down? Have you ever seen these men? We have reason to believe they're the ones who ran down your husband. I don't know them. And, uh, what about these two? No. Are you sure? Here, have another look, Mrs. Dillon, please. No. What's the matter with O2? Can't he talk? Strip throw. Uh, you know, Mrs. Dillon, we're going to find these men. It's, it's just a matter of time. And when we do, we'll be back. Only next time, we won't be so friendly. See, you might be a material witness in a hit and run homicide, and you could be charged with withholding evidence. Something to drink? Uh, yeah, I think I will. A, a large scotch, please. No ice. You've got the wrong accent for this place, buddy. My very words. May, tell this limey bastard to go to hell. Excuse me, sister. Look, mate. Whatever my feelings are about the troubles, I left them behind in England. However, if you want to wage the battle here and now, so be it. But I guarantee to you that when it's over, one of us will not get up. Scotch. No ice. Mrs. Dillon. Mrs. Dillon, you must forgive my associate here. These days, young people, they... They don't seem to have the same kind of compassion, do they? Believe me, I know what it's like to lose someone you love. Reader, see if you can pick up what May's telling them. Good boy. Now, please, would you just look at these men again? Hmm? We're not going to hold you. Mrs. Dillon, but we do need your help. This fellow you call Goodman is Tom Dillon, my late husband's brother. And uh, the other man? He sure isn't any Capuletti. What was his name? Lawler, that's right. Mike Lawler. They were from back there. Back to, from Ireland? Or well, where else? Didn't care for them, either one of them. Johnny was all right, though. Johnny. Johnny McQueen. They were with the IRA. The three of them came here to raise money. Not that my pack had anything to do with that. He didn't take to blowing up women and children. When did you last see your brother-in-law, Mrs. Dillon? Tom called and he heard Packy got run over. Said he couldn't come to the service, but he'd pay his respects to the funeral home. Uh, did Lawler and uh, this, this Johnny McQueen show up at your husband's funeral, Mrs. Dillon? No funeral, but a small wake right here. But Packy's going to be buried in Ireland alongside his parents. Maria, that's Johnny's girl. She's taking care of everything for me. Does Maria have a last name? Palmieri. She's a nice girl. Palmieri? She's Italian. Johnny met her when they first came over. 
this nice Italian girl, Mrs. Dillon. Do you know where we might find her? I don't know where she's staying now. She won't talk about it. But she calls me most every day. Oh, uh, when she does, could you tell her it's it's very important that she get in touch with us? It, it could mean her boyfriend's life. Thank you again. And again, our condolences, Mrs. Dillon. We're going to have to fight our way out of here. It's not you they want, is it? May I suggest that we leave by the other exit? Yeah. Ah. Screw the British! What's this world coming to? I'm a cop. I'm running for my life. Oh, yeah, yeah. Just make me quiet. See what turns up. Mia's going to help them find Maria.